Well, it's a good thing I'm short, and if you can hear me, I'm right under a fan. But the pineapple sage that I got last year got huge. I mean, it has a shrub stalk. I don't, I'm not gonna do that again. I'm gonna definitely get some lemon thyme, and everything's so tiny here. But once again, my purpose here was to find the orange mint. And I'm hoping I'm gonna find it. Chocolate mint, oh, we're getting close. Spearmint, peppermint, orange mint. Found it. I'm gonna grab quite a few of these. Well, not two, but three times I've already hit my head on a planter. I started out with a headache, not much better now. But I'm gonna probably clear them out of the orange mint today. All right, where is it? Yep, I got four left here, unless there's another row I'm missing. But that's okay, that's what they're here for. For those local to Wilton, New Hampshire, I've been asked where to find white bleeding hearts, and this year, I'm finding them here. I'm gonna grab a couple, but unfortunately, it's too early to plant outside. I'm hoping I can keep them alive on the porch. All right, so I grabbed two of the bleeding hearts. I was told that, you know, it's just enjoy the blooms now while I can and then I'll plant them. They may rebloom some of these smaller ones. And I asked about pinching back and they said really not to. These are huge. So once they die, I might a little bit. I got two myrtles. I figured I finally learned how to keep rosemary alive. Maybe I can be successful with these. And I should say indoors, because rosemary, no problem outside, but indoors I did, and now I've got them. And I got a lot of orange mint. I'll probably get more. And some lemon thyme. Well, this was totally an impulse purchase and it barely fits in the car. But we did it. If there were no plants in the back, I could have laid my seat down.
I'm using a very soft cloth. You don't want to scratch the surface of some of your items. You know, I could certainly have done a way better job, but it's so much better. And this is just, I wanted to have coffee today. I mean, I've already had my coffee. Let's be real. I've already had my main coffee, but sometimes when I'm working on little projects, I love to just sit and enjoy. I'm trying a new coffee today, actually, that I picked up from Vermont, and I'm really enjoying it. I didn't get to ask Ben if he liked it because he went off golfing. It's amazing how the weather changed so quickly and the golf courses are open, but I'm going to see if he liked it. Okay, I'm gonna rinse off the residue and sometimes I will take a super soft toothbrush, extra soft, and go inside the, the creases. But I also like seeing the patina of the patterns. So I think today I'm just gonna rinse it off and go from there. I'm gonna leave my paper, paper here so I can take out those bolts. Might as well get that prepped and ready to go. I think I'm gonna stand up for this. Just move this out of the way. And it's um, true to things that I do. I went to clean this, opened up the top to pour the hot coffee in, and realized that I probably used it with some Christmas greens because there were some pine needles in there. So I ended up having to clean the inside as well. So I just, I love making these little extra steps. It, it just, I don't know, it's, it's nice. It's nice. It's nothing extra. We had the things in the house. All right, I'm going to move my dried artichokes that we did in the past just to get them out of the way. And I am hoping that these bulbs are just going to pull out easily versus taking everything apart. Because I can even take out the fake forsythia for now. And what's nice is I can tuck in some other branches in here if I choose. Ooh, these roots are long. Well, at least I don't have the dead things in here. And like I said, I'll be able to tuck some things inside. But for now, I'll just push that back and I'll be able to compost those. Put this back in my Easter box. I won't be composting the colored paper, but this will be a way to get out there. I have a lot I want to show you. It's a lot of little things and it shouldn't take too long, but I want to show you something that pretty much started this journey of wanting to clean the home, but it's elevating the mundane or just even with the teacup, it's not the mundane, but it's just elevating the everyday things that I usually do. I came across this feather duster, has some purple feathers in it and I thought how wonderful would it be to go around and lightly dust the house with these ostrich feathers. Now I have one of the ones that grabs the dust and then you can take it outside and shake it. Well, what was good enough for my ancestors is good enough for me. But I do have a lot of fragiles and breakables on the shelf and this is perfect just to gently glide over those 
and get some of the, the minor dust that's there. And then on certain days, I take everything down and wash things off. So this ostrich feather, feather duster, definitely inspired me to do some more projects around the house, AKA cleaning. But I thought that was fun. And another thing I thought was fun, not necessary, but I just discussed about the past Linda and the current and I used to always wear dresses. You remember maybe the Grotten videos, I was always in dresses while gardening and I've done it here too, but not as much. Now this is certainly not a gardening skirt, but I saw this at a thrift store in Manchester, New Hampshire. I will, I'll put that on the screen. But I just really loved this skirt. There is some black velvet flowers on it and I thought it would be so fun to wear with my black velvet strappy sandals or high heels and a black top or a colored top that goes along with this. And it would just be fun to go out to um, a cocktail party. And then also if I ever wanted to get dressed up just for fun, I have that. It was $15. I don't even know if there's an, oh, there is a name brand in here. Chic Wish and uh, $15. So I thought that was a lot of fun and I'm looking forward to putting that on. Don't even know if it fits actually. It looks like it should, but I don't know. Some other things I have in the bag here and I meant when I went off to the shopping day, it got up to 77 degrees where I was. So my spring mode was completely turned on. I did pick up live greenery and I decided to pick up some faux greenery as well for inside the house. So in this bag is a lot of different pieces of faux greenery and I will do a close up in a moment just to show you what I got. There's some berry picks here and then some faux eucalyptus. I liked that soft, soft green. Very similar to the kitchen cabinet colors, Benjamin Moore, White River. River White, White River. I keep getting confused. It is on my website. I have all the colors of our houses on my website. And then I, once again, a little pop. These almost remind me of Lily of the Valley, but they're not. And then these two last items had greenery in them. I didn't even look if they charged me separate for the greenery. No, it looks like it was included. I got these vintage toll painted tin cones with some wire hicks, they were on the wall, that I could see in our bedroom. I'm gonna be doing an English country, French country combined, Grand Union style, Neffel style bedroom. And I saw these in there right away, probably one on top of the other with the greens or something else and I just loved the black and gold with this and the little touch of. And these are definitely vintage. There's rust on them. There's a lot of wear and tear. And I forget what I got these for. I don't have the slip here, but it was definitely a price that I'm like, that is worth it. And I'll tuck that in like it was and maybe some of the other colors or greens because just to give it a little different of a vari variation of, of greens in there but I liked those. And like I said, I will probably use them one on top of the other. I envisioned it between the two windows in the front of the house, but I think these are gonna be too wide actually for there. I'll find a space. That won't be a problem, but I really like those. I'm looking at them again for the first time since I grabbed those and they're very different and unique for, for me. Okay, you saw me grab these in the video earlier. And sometimes I go for what I like. I don't go for pedigree whatsoever. So I don't even know where these are made because the bottom of the ceramic dogs, that's what's in here, is covered on a base. So I don't know if they're made in China. I don't know if they're made in England. I don't know if it's USA, Germany. I have no idea. If I thought I could get to the bottom easily, I'd probably take them off, but I don't want to do that. So, oh, it does have a name on the bottom. I'll be able to look this up. It says collection, and then it looks like Roman numeral two. Um, 
so I'll see if I can find info on that. But I just liked them a lot. I already have a collection of dogs and this will make four or five. To me, as you might remember, a collection is three things. So we are going over and above that now. And I thought those would look really great in the library with all, amongst the books or on a side table. Just needs a little dusting. And I was thrilled. I saw those and I, I grabbed them. Um, I didn't even hesitate. This is not a thrifted item, but I wanted to share this. I have it here on the table because I was actually skimming through it today by the fire this morning. A kindred spirit sent me and uh, a, a really cute Peter Rabbit book. And along with it was a Peter Rabbit stuffed animal. And I took it out of the package and I had it on the counter. And then at one point, Ben heard Willow's tail wagging. You can hear it thud, thud, thud on the ground. Well, Willow helped herself to Peter Rabbit and was giving it love. I mean, she's treating it with affection and she had it on the floor with her face to face and, you know, in her mouth and her tail was wagging. So I was going to give it to my stepdaughter to have upstairs. Willow had other plans for it. So now she has another best friend out of all of her toys, Peter Rabbit. I want to thank that kindred spirit for sending along and Willow wants to thank you too because she carries it around everywhere like a little baby. It's probably in bed right now, um, but she's taking very good care of it, I promise. But thank you so much for the Peter Rabbit book. And quite a few of you actually sent Peter Rabbit themed Easter cards and I love that. Um, it was a nice little cozy country feel and I appreciate your thoughts during the season. Okay, uh, quick, this was just at, uh, I think at one of the front entrances baskets. I have so many baskets. I don't think I'll ever have enough of them. I'll be one of those that when it's time to downsize, I'll have a huge basket sale. But I could see this with greens, herbs. I almost put the bulbs in here actually, but I didn't want to get it dirty yet. So this will be put to use. I could even leave it outside and let it weather age. And, um, and that's something that I like to do. I leave baskets all over the property so that if I decide to cut an herb, trim, whatever, I've got a basket there and then I can just dump it. So this might become one of those maybe by the herb garden. This basket, which I have things in, I did grab this also thrifting. I first grabbed it right before Easter and I thought I'd use it as a very fun large Easter basket, never got to it. Then when I got all the herbs at the store the other day, I thought this might be a pretty way to use the herbs. I forgot how deep it was. So I do think the pothos that I have in the large green pot might go in this for now, or it will go by the sofa with magazines in it, books in it, but it, or, or in here. It has the wonderful colors that matches Queen Bess's rough, but it also matches the village green paint color that's in the library. I have no idea. I liked it, price was right, so I grabbed it. Inside here, I have a book, Aged to Perfection. It's a country living book, and I flipped through it real quick, and it spoke to me. It is the style and the look that I love, but I really, really loved the photos in this book. And I'm looking forward to sitting here by the fire in the morning and just enjoying it. Once again, I will show you a close-up of a couple of these photos and I will also link these books below if they're still available. I have a book that I went to link and it's not available anymore unless you probably find it at maybe a used bookstore site but so everything's not available on Amazon and um, yeah so that was one of the books that I grabbed and the other book is and I know many of you probably have this on your shelves Mary Engelbright's Home Sweet Home. And once again, I flipped through her pages. This is probably a style that I did maybe 30 years ago, but there is a lot in here, a lot that I do love and I do gravitate towards. And I also like seeing things that I used to decorate like. And a lot of my decorating 
is around the house that I'm living in at the time. And when I had this style, it was a 1950s ranch with very large rooms and openings. It was a lot of fun. Um, and I got to do a lot in that house. But even the black furniture and the pops of red, I used to have a lot of red in my houses. I don't think I have any red here. I got rid of the one red room. So I do love red and black together and olive and black together. But this, once again, this gave me a lot of ideas and I see some crafting ideas that I can get from this as well. So this will go on my shelf and I will get to enjoy that little by little. So also in here, faux fruits. I'm always picking up faux fruits for Christmas trees, for putting in bowls. And this was, let me see, $4.88, under $5 for all the faux fruit. And these little tiny crab apples look so much like the ones that are falling from our tree, but, or lady apples, I, I believe they are. So these can be used year round. I, I do like those, and I'm always picking up fruit for craft projects. It would probably be very cute right in this basket when the fall comes around. All right, this is one I, I hemmed and hawed not too long. It got into the basket very quickly. When I pick some of the fruit from outside, I don't have an abundance of it. It might be two or three raspberries. It might be just a few blueberries to start or just, just a few of everything, a little bit of herb. And to bring out the large, I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm having a moment right now. I want to say cold, and it's not. Oh no. Sieve. It is a strainer. Thank you. So, wow. I don't like it when that happens. But I thought this little strainer would be perfect for that situation. I have to bring out the big one. I can just grab this, pop it in the sink, put some, you know, put the fruit or the, the herbs in it, rinse them off, and then put them on a dish just to dry off a bit. I just thought that was the cutest little size. I just noticed, oh no, they both are. I thought the handle was bent. It is on one side, but it's the way it was made. But I liked that, I thought that was sweet. Another thing I don't have here, and I grabbed, I don't know if they're gonna be from me or from my daughter, but these are pewter and wood, and the quality is wonderful. These, this is the salt and then the pepper grinder. I just want to make sure they work properly but once again the price was right and I thought it would be pretty by our stove but I also remember my daughter saying she was looking for something similar and I would certainly let them go if this is something that she liked oh I only have one other thing here this went quicker than I thought another item that I bought out and about was this square wreath and I did hold it up over the bed. It looks great, it's still a little small. I could use it on the front door. I could use it to frame myself. No, I'm just kidding. So many options with this. It can go on the porch. It could go here in the kitchen. I just really liked the shape of it. Now it's a bit faded, I believe. I'm gonna say it's faded and not just the coloring. And I know sometimes with these plastic items, I can give it a quick spray of another green just to give it a little variegation on there or I can tuck some other things in there. It could even be used on the table as a centerpiece and I could put a punch bowl in the middle here. I could put a tall tower with some desserts in here. I could use it outside on the table for when I'm entertaining. Limitless. And once again, I forget the price. I don't even I don't think this is the Nope, but this basket was $23. Salt and pepper shakers were 10. So I don't know where I'll use this, but I liked the shape. I liked the size. It was different. I like different. different. And thank goodness Ben likes different because he got me. So these are my consignment finds for the week and going back a little bit towards Easter. 
There's probably some other things in the house that I'm forgetting, but I already put them aside. I had these in a bag to show you, and this feather duster and a few of these items I just picked up these past few days ago when I thought the carpet store was gonna be open. I definitely had time to go shopping. So if you're still with me here at the end of the video and you have not done so already, I would love for you to subscribe and hit that reminder bell button because even though I'm usually on Sundays, I'm starting to do some Thursdays, the time of day does change. And a lot of that has to do with one, I may have been busy. Two, the upload time and speed here in the area is a little iffy depending on what's going on. So I never know what time the videos are gonna come out. And if I don't know, you don't know. And I think with that reminder bell, it will help give you that notification that a new video is live. And I do have some new ideas. I'm gonna be working on them for you. And I wanna have things that are a little bit different that hopefully you haven't seen before here on YouTube. Or if you have, a little bit of a twist and a little change because we like different. Bye now.